Hello everyone and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network on uh, Mike49324. And welcome back to the Derek Gibson My Career Mode here at, at, here at NBA 2K13. As he is from NBA 2K12 making the leap to MLB 2K13. As we begin his trip to the NBA and now it is time for the pre-draft interview. Let's find out what he is willing to, su to draft Derek Gibson. And here we go. Let's find out. The first team to do the pre-draft interviews are is Memphis. Oh, great. Nice performance tonight. I'm GM and president of team operations for the Grizzlies. We have the 25th pick in the draft. Oh, that's really low. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick, if you don't mind. The Grizzlies are a team with a lot of momentum right now. We went through a rough stretch, had some recent draft picks that didn't work out. With guys like Debo and Kassar, we really feel like we could be one of the better teams in the West. We like what we've seen out of you, but how do you see yourself fitting in with the team? Well... Um, don't forget Daniel Bryan's there, so, but this is the Mike from LA, Mike 49324 channel, so if I want to go to Memphis, like, have another character go to Memphis, I'm cool with it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. One more. How important is it for you to be a lottery pick in the draft? Oh, boy. Well, the higher you go, the more money there is to be made, you feel me? So, yeah, man, it's definitely important for me to go as high as possible. Money isn't the end-all, be-all, and I know that, but I put work in, and I'm ready for a little kickback. Well, let's see what the Memphis, the Memphis Grizzlies have to say. Thanks for answering our questions. I don't know that we're a fit for you this time. We'll be discussed internally. I'll be in touch. All right, so we may not be going to Memphis. And the next pick is Atlanta. Oh, boy. Kicked in the nuts, whole team. I know you just got done playing and probably want to catch a shower, so I'll keep this brief. I'm the GM of the Atlanta Hawks. We're strongly considering drafting you with the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft. And we'd first like to ask a couple questions about how you fit in here before we take that step. First question. Let me start this question off by saying that I think you're an exceptional talent and that the Hawks organization would be lucky to have you. With that, you know that we have a franchise cornerstone now for Horford already manning the center position. Once you've developed your game enough, I have a vision of you and Al starting side by side, potentially with you sliding down to the power forward role. Is that something you can see yourself going for down the line? Al Horford? Oh boy! Well, I can understand that. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I hate that pause in between the questions. Interesting. Next question. How did you feel about your game tonight? What stood out to you? And it wasn't the best game I've ever played, that's for sure. I'm often very critical of my play. I tend to focus on the things I did wrong and learn from those. I'm just not that guy that's going to gloat about the things that I did do well. My mom always told me that for every right in the world, there's a wrong. I'm trying to eliminate the wrong from my game. You feel me? All right. Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. You're welcome. Have a nice day. And let's see where the next pick is. Oh, boy! Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Heat. We have the 27th pick in this draft. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So we'd like to get to know you better by asking you a couple uh. questions. Let's get to it. These days, playing in Miami comes with an extreme amount of pressure. Everything you say and do will be under the microscope and scrutinized by the press. 
These are the prices we all have to pay for tremendous things assembled here. How are you going to handle this level of pressure? And how are you going to react the first time you read a negative piece on your play? Oh. Oh. Boy. I did not see that coming. Derek Gibson may be, be the first character. Oh, my, well, I, oh, I just realized second if you kill Clem. Oh, boy. If he wants to be, he may be taking his talents to South Beach. Oh, boy. Let's see. Look, to be honest, I don't really want this type of pressure on me early in my career. I need time to learn and develop into the best player I can be. Being thrust into the spotlight right from the jump, that's, that's not for me. I'll become the best player in the league someday. I know that. When that time comes, you're welcome to place the biggest spotlight in the league on me because I'll be ready to shine. Well, you're gonna be a blah 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 blah. Okay, last question. Perfect. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? Honestly, I don't care about any of that. I want to play for your team, whatever pick it is. To me, it's not about going number one or going in the lottery. I want to go to a team that is a great fit for me. And I definitely think you guys fit that bill for me. All right, let's see what happens here. Well, that didn't go quite as I expected. We'll see you at the draft. Well, we could be seeing a character go. Don't worry, people in Miami. I will send a character to my to the Miami Heat someday, but right now it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. But looks like. So right now, chances are he may be going to. My aunt may be going to Memphis, but take a look at the other picks. Chances are we may have a shot here of having a character either go to Chicago, or if my luck runs out, we may have a character going to Golden State. But let's go to the draft. Welcome to the 2012 NBA draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work mm -hmm. as their dream of playing in the NBA closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now, to the task at hand. With the first pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans select Anthony Davis from the University of Kentucky. Okay, I kind of feel bad for Anthony Davis. One year is a Horton, and the next year is like, okay, what are we going to be called next year? The New Orleans, what? The New Orleans Pelicans? What kind of a name is that? Well, at least Michael K. Gilchrist has a, has, might have a reason to celebrate. He may become a Charlotte Hornet next year. What? Hold on one second, folks. I apologize. Hey, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hey, good job screwing Seattle there. Come on, seriously. Oh, you know what time it is coming up.
with the 12th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Houston Rockets select Jeremy Lamb from the University of Connecticut. Well, the pick is slowly coming. With the 13th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select Although it's kind of ironic, the last year's game, Phoenix was in the exact same spot. So what's going to be the draft order this year? And wait to find out. Now here comes Sean's team, the Dallas Mavericks. With the 17th pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the Dallas Mavericks select Tyler Zeller from the Aww, I was hoping for them to draft the draft <laughs> draft draft with the 18th pick gives in there. That would have been awesome. Okay, not a good choice. Oh boy. If Gibson gets drafted to Orlando, this will be the next Dwight Howard story. Nope, oh, that's disappointing. And here comes Phoenix Wright's current team. Fournier, that's how you pronounce it. Actually, I think... Yeah, I think you'll make a great character in a MLB, in a NBA 2K12, but I'm not going to do it. I was hoping the Lakers would get him. I didn't realize we got late picks. And same with this year, 48. Okay, good. At least none of, at least Gibson didn't land in Boston. Even though what happened in Boston was terrible here. Whoa! Gibson's been drafted, boys, and he and and he said his name, and David Stern says his name, and he's going 23rd to Atlanta. So he got that call up, so he will go to kick to the nuts former team before he got sent to Utah. So he'll be going off the bench. He will take that offer, 23rd overall. So here we go. Derek Gibson, he's got next. That's what's going to happen here. As he gets his, as we get to see Gibson in the Hawks uniform. Uh, why do I have a feeling he is not wearing number 40? If it's retired by the Hawks, I'm going to be so ticked. If it's retired by the Hawks. Okay, can we how we get out of here? There we go. And, and actually for this thing, we're gonna go with G. Gibson. I thought this would be only be fair. G. Gibson, and there we go. And, oh good, he's wearing his number 40. I swear, the number 40 in the Hawks uniforms is awkward. But before we wrap up today's videos, let's take a look at the social media, like we do in every episode here. As we take a look here, saying G. Gibson is going to have some big shoes to fill here in Atlanta. Let's see if he has what it takes to contribute this year. Making him just the only the third character to go there. Fear the staff says, hey, D. Gibson, your mug is starting to your day now. So with that, this should just about wrap up today's videos in this episode. Come back next time as Derek Gibson plays his debut against the Atlanta Hawks. And let's take a look at their... The first game is going to be against Houston as we... And we'll take on to... As we... As the as we take a look at the... Uh, as they have... Just like in the other game, they have Orlando to worry about. Only they have to play one. The Rising Stars get challenged. That is a good possibility we may see that happen. 
And there you see the Angel Chantas are, guys. We may see something big here. And also, good night, everybody. And NBA gives Seattle their team back. Good night, everybody.